everybody, welcome back to Library of Runa. I've been doing a little bit of farming on stream. Uh, we also did a small little like Discord stream where I was just, you know, like troubleshooting a model that I've been working on. Turns out the base model that I had sculpted it off of, I didn't check it for uh, issues. And uh, it has an issue with the polygons overlapping inside of the shoulder. And I was fretting over that for so fucking long. And uh, yeah, I was just being stupid the whole time. So. Uh, my options are either just work with it, hide it, or just sculpt it off of a different base. Uh, I could do one or the other. I'm probably going to hide it with clothes. But I hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy this because I've got ahead. I've given Gabura's floor some stuff. It's kind of just stopgap. It's kind of just stopgap. Sort of ungabunga type stuff. It's um, also a singleton and uh based on like emo level that's because the good boy's here Wait, i want to fight the good boy so let's go ahead send uh send them into the mountain of smiling bodies book and uh we're gonna see what this looks like for the first time i have not properly prepared for this i have not looked at it off screen this this is purely sight read Remember to hit the like sand subscribe to kill the amogus imposter no get back in the fucking basement Get back in the basement! You know what? You guys are- your- your decks- I'm, I'm sorry. We're, we're, um... I'm not built for that yet. I'm not built for that yet. <laughs> You're just gonna steal their shit. You, I'm sorry. You're, you're just gonna steal their shit. Am I sure? Yeah. Well, it's not that I'm not sure, it's just, you know, I want to make sure I actually have content for YouTube. If I'm not succeeding in this, uh, and I'm just throwing myself at it endlessly without changing anything, I am actively failing. I am not just simply failing, no, I am actively failing. So I'll just try over here with Scarecrow. I'll just fucking try with the Scarecrow. Okay. On blocked or evaded, this gives a copy of wisdom to my hand. So we gotta use these two to supply myself with wisdom. I take it. I'm sure Cheshed's got this.
find it is a tad more gimmicky. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm fine with the fight being gimmicky as long as I, you know, give it a solid try. I hadn't even actually tried this fight yet. Alright, so on hit, you're gonna absorb a page from my hand. Well, uh, I have quick suppression here. And because quick suppression is a, uh, it, it, it starts off with three dodge. And this guy can't actually uh, hit. That uh, that avoids that. Let's block this. Hit you with class and respect. Class and respect again. Well, we want to get. Classroom respect in first, and then we eliminate. Nice. Oof, okay. So you are gonna absorb cards from my hand. But what if... What if... I just barely hit enough? That you get staggered all over again. Just attack one of them. Well, then in that case, I'll mind whip him. I'm going to take that Wisdom. Like, this Wisdom's going to do 20 damage. This Mind Whip is going to do... Um, 23 plus 8. So, 31. And this regularly is going to do pretty much uh, all the damage we need it to do.
All right, let's hit you with the unlock. Hit you with the wisdom. Followed by unlock. Yeah, send it. Fuck. I, I uh, clashed the wrong card with it. Struggle for wisdom. Hey, yo, bra, 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 bra. Nice card. Shame that nobody asked. They're pretty nice and low. You can get away with just great swing. You can probably get away with just unlock three on that guy. Actually, uh, you'll go ahead and use concentration. Send it. That's one down. Ah, oh, fuck, he healed. And now he's gonna use Mind Whip on me. You know what? This will be funny. I'll just go ahead and Mind Whip the Mind Whip. And La Regali. And eliminate. Yeah, send it. But a boom, but a bang, he's dead. We win, baby. Honestly, that was easier than I was expecting. <laughs> that was easier than I was expecting. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 coffee man. I gotta see coffee man. Sexy coffee man. Yeah, it is the first fight. I just haven't done it. Copinga. Ibonen in Massachai Magical. Humbomico, Masabuzi. Oh, Ibonen Taldaram is a king to him. I saw. Nice! Yo, what? Maja, you look at Kogo Jimmy's a machine and copin and tell me. Grotti, yet on a caperado, ye makia to put a stack cotton. 
I love how Jesha um, was able to just figure out what coffee Roland would love. Literally within the first two cups. That is hilarious. I love it. I love it. Nice, <laughs> ごやっくよがもう来てとっし、いるわち。お時間に힘들었나 다양한 커피를 마실 수 있다는 게 좋고 하라는 대로 해야 하는 건 똑같은데 이번에는 내가 선택했어. 그리고 내가 잘한다면 다른 사수들의 피해도 최소화할 수 있고. 그래서 still worried about the welfare of his colleagues. 이게 생각하는 유형이구만. 예전보다는 모든 게 나아졌어. 이것도 잡이라고 볼수 있는 걸까? 누구야? 도서 관장님은? 나도 믿기지는 않지만. 어렴풋이 그렇지 않을까 생각하곤 해. 아, 난잘 모르겠다. That he's so wholesome. 목표가 확실해 보여서 그 녀석이 가려는 길에 자비가 있는지 모르겠거든. 음, 이 마피아도 맛있긴 맛있구만. 자꾸 입이 가네. 종종 올 때마다 새로운 커피들을 소개해 줄게. 천천히 알아가 보자고. 좋지. 기대하고 있을게. Ah, oh, Cheshire's so wholesome. All right, let's see what these pages are. Horn off wisdom. When he returned, he had a visibly long scar on his head. People asked him how he felt, and he responded that his head felt lighter. Single ally. Whenever the librarian uses a page, discard a random page from hand and restore one light. Okay. Uh, so I guess he's good for the discard deck. Gleaning. It shows aggression towards certain employees, attempting to take their brains. These employees are those who scored excellent on the intelligence test. Single ally. After attacking an enemy with a higher amount of stagger resist, deal 2-4 to four bonus stagger damage and recover 2-5 to five stagger resist. Rake. The rake tilled the human brain instead of farmland. How many of the wise people among us have lost their lives to this rake? Single ally. After staggering an enemy, copy two pages owned by the enemy and add them to the librarian's hand with two less cost. The copied pages are exhausted on use. Yes, they are. You can only copy melee pages while equipping a melee only key page, and vice versa. No effect against characters with shimmering. Yeah, I, I knew that they were from Lob Corp. I have no stories. And uh, I'm reading them anyways because it's just nice to know the uh, context of the card and what it's based off of. Alright, Warm Hearted Woodsman's up next. Ah. Let's try! <laughs> Let's try it, dude! Let's see. Okay, he looks normal. Oh. Huh. Forest full of trees. So, he's gonna cull the trees. Help me! The character clash and gets this car becomes staggered. Kill them instantly. Wow. 
I love that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's great. All right, so let's see. If the character has warm heart at the start of the scene, all librarians restore light to maximum. Each scene targets the character with the most light. When attacking, all dice gain power equal to the amount of light the target has. Upon defeating another character, recover 25, 20% of HP and gain 3 stacks of warm heart. If the character has no warm heart at the start of the scene, become staggered. So it's like a survival type thing. So, let's see what happens. So now he should have three warm hearts, right? Now he's standing up. And now he's dangerous. He level Abno. So, we have to add four to this. On Clash Loss, lose one warm heart next scene. Okay, I see how we want to play this. So, you're gonna clash against the Warm Pulse. We'll ignore this. Okay. And we'll attack the, the um, Strike of the Axe. Now, I assume we also want to take care of these guys over here. We shall do so. Now, I'm assuming what we want to do is we want to destroy the forest before he can take care of it. So he's forced to have zero uh, warm heart at the beginning of the scene. So let's go ahead. Let's send it. It's a survival type thing. We need to cut down the forest, so to say. As we get stronger, he gets stronger. This might be stupid, but I'm gonna hit I'm gonna tank that lumber. So I have these two, the bolsterous ringing, boisterous ringing coming in. that to you, Cheshed. Alright, so we have Boisterous Ringing and Warm Pulse coming in.
Hmm. Okay. So, we're basically guaranteed to lose these. Once he keeps hitting these don't take my hearts, he's going to keep winning. Alright, send it. Alright, we're starting to win this. Uh, this probably doesn't really work. I... Whatever. Send it. All right, there we go. It can't call the character. Now then. All we should need to do is win the second clash. And this third clash. This one we'll ignore. I'll take a chance on this. Okay, so he's not going to gain a heart at least. Alright, we got to keep Yuri alive. You clash that. Um... And you'll clash this as well. And he got back the fucking warm heart. Okay, so I fucked that up. I really fucked that up. Okay, let's return to title. Let's return to title. I really messed that one up. And why is my face not here? So I disabled it for uh, lore. Okay, let's try this again.
So you're gonna call each of these. We'll save the mind whip. So I'll go ahead and I'll maximize the damage I'm putting out on these back two. Try and get them out of the way first. Now here we go. We go ahead and we use the uh, Mind Whip on the Warm Pulse. We go ahead, we use Absorb Impact. Just full send this. Alright, so now he's guaranteed to lose one next turn. You're gonna gain a heart next scene if I'm not doing anything. We'll take that over here. Right, I deal with that. You know, I need I should probably have put Will of the Prescript in here. You know, it really seems like Cheshed's floor is a giant killer type thing. Alright, so paralyzed good. Reduced roll by three. So theoretically, high kick should be strong enough to kill it. Right there. And right there. Okay, so it does lose one. That's good. Okay. So you need to tank that. You need to take that. You need to take that. Fuck. 
God damn it. Okay. Back up to two. No mind whip. We do have a blade unlock sight that we can abuse. We can throw a concentration at it. And then absorb impact. Maybe. Not a guarantee. Gotta bring him down to one. Fuck. Got staggered. Oh, fuck, yep, yeah, please, 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 please. Oh, but did he, did we did we win? Yes, he fucking did, dude. Okay. All right, send it. Just full send it, dude. Forty-eight damage. Yeah, it's almost a GG. All right, send it. Yes! Okay, and warm-hearted woodsman has been suppressed. Let's go. Now, what are the cards we get from this? And uh, yeah, we've got more exposition. Sexy coffee man. Oh, Indigo Mountain. Sounds interesting. I bet you that they pulled that from an actual blend. Let's see. Yes, in fact, it is a real coffee. Indigo Mountain is, in fact, a real coffee. Yes, I know Blue Mountain exists, but Indigo Mountain is, is another coffee, apparently. Oh, yeah. 
음악을 못하는 자는 패배자로 맛의 골목에서는 언제 자신이 식재료가 될지도 모르는 거야 그게 대부지의 방침이니까 <웃음> 듣고 보니 그렇네 아, that's poetic 사람마다 다른 맛을 낸다? 상당히 23구스러운 발상인데 혹시 너 몰래 손님들을 부르려는 <웃음> 건 아니지? 낭만이 없네 농담이라고 생각할게 나도 반 농담이었지만 말이야 뭐 무슨 일이든 일어날 수 있으니까 서로 다른 곳에서 만들어진 커피를 하나로 섞어주는 걸 블렌딩이라고 해 블렌딩을 통해 아무리 질라진 커피라도 향미를 낼수 있지 사회학은 블렌딩과 닮았어 뭔가 사람이 잘 섞여 살게 하는 방법이 They really did a lot of their research 그럴싸한데? 그렇지? 그리고 어떤 블렌딩 방법이냐에 따라 걸러지는 재료들이 있기 마련이야 They really did their research for coffee 사람들에게 사람들은 욕망이 있어서 원하는 블렌딩 머신으로 스스로 가고자 해 이왕이면 고급스러운 세상으로 가고 싶은 거지 갈려나가는 것은 똑같은데 말이지 그래서 좋은 커피콩들을 얻기 위해 도시와 둥지는 끊임없이 속삭여 가장 거대하고 개성 있는 맛을 섬세하게 채워줄 Yes, but these are things that only a true coffee nerd would be able to say Or well, right 과시하고, 걸러진 패배자의 모습을 보여주지 그렇게 모두 홀려서 자신을 파는 거야 거짓이라 해도 뒷골목의 삶보다 둥지의 삶이 나은 건 사실이야 그럴까? 날개들은 말 그대로 사람들을 커피콩처럼 갈아놓고 있는데 저마다의 날개는 자신의 둥지가 가장 아늑한 곳이라며 깃털들을 모집해 둥지 안에서의 정책은 날개마다 상이하게 다르고 뒷골목은 그 정책에 맞게 뒤틀려가 모두가 거대하고 달콤한 거짓말에 젖어 있어 지금 자신의 행동이 <웃음> 최선이라고 애써 Oh God Oh I love this 그게 최선인 거야. 뒷골목 삶에서 벗어나 날개에 입사해 안정적인 둥지의 삶을 보내는 것. 이 이상의 방법이 없어. 그렇다면 블렌딩 방법은 누가 정하는 걸까? 아니. Many think it's a bit e p but God damn does it have a lot of details about novel, author, the history of the author's country. Hot fucking damn. God, I love that. They, re they really are leaving no stone unturned and... An effort to create lore. 골라내는 것이 필요한 걸까? 각자 자신이 내는 향대로 살면 안 되는 걸까? 속 편한 소리 하네. 그런 의문을 품으면 한도 끝도 없어. 그런 걸까? 그런 거야. 커피 잘 마셨어. 가볼게. All right. A warm heart. <laughs> it's literally the... Oh, yeah, I love it. In anger, he swung his axe through the wizard's heart. The warm heart was pulsing vigorously. Single ally at the start of the scene. Boost the power of offensive dice by 1 or 2 for the scene. If the librarian has 3 or more light. Cardia. There will never be enough hearts. Once a woodman, he now fells people. Set of trees. Single ally. After dealing 15 or more damage to enemies in a single scene, reduce the cost of the two most expensive pages in hand by one. On kill, reduce the cost to zero instead. Cost reduction is reset when the pages are used. Timber. This is a forest full of hearts. No matter how many he cuts down, the forest still remains dense. Single ally. When attacking a target that has more light than the librarian, offensive dice gain power equal to the amount of light the target has had. Up to two. Okay, and next is the road home and scaredy cat. Wait, hold up. The road home and scaredy cat are separate abnormalities, but they are linked. They are linked. These are two abnormalities that, would, that we would be fighting at the same time. And it's treating it as having breached. Now, if we if we remember from Wonder Lab,
The only way to deal with this guy is to suppress the road home. Dress the fourth one up. Yeah, I don't know what that fourth one's gonna be. The Wicked Witch? But this is Dorothy, this is the Cowardly Lion. Wow, okay, okay. And it gains strength equal to the amount of times the road home is attacked this scene. A lot of high damage pages. By Yellow Brick Road. Tag. Right, let's just send it. I just want to see what Yellow Brick Road stat does. I just want to do this for later. The fourth avenue is an interesting one. All right, so you're still not a targetable thing, are you? Oh. The battle is lost if this attack hits the home. And it cannot be redirected, wait. What? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. So it's an entirely unredirectable thing. And it's targeting the home. Ah! So if you don't attack, if you don't clash this, this goes through. This is our ultimatum. I gotcha. This guy just, he, he's fucking unkillable until she is gone interesting interesting well i'll go ahead and just willingly lose the battle real quick i think i think it's really funny But oh, she's cute. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Well, I don't think I'm going to be dealing with the road home today. I don't think at all that I could. Now, the interesting thing is that we have Big Bird right here which means that in this line we're gonna be fighting apoc we're gonna be fighting apoc on bina's floor yeah. let's see hokma is the burrowing heaven yeah three birds apoc that's four abnuts which means that we have another Abno that we'd have to fight on Bina's floor. Could possibly be Firebird? I don't know. I would expect Apoc here. Unless there's a bird worse than Apoc. In which case, I would be very, very scared. Yes, the Firebird has no relation aside from the fact that it's a bird. 
Though it could be like a Wonder Lab thing or uh, something from the comics that I haven't read yet. I can see that being a thing. I can totally see that being a thing. Or an entirely new Abno, yeah. Hmm. Well, when the three birds escape, there are two Abnos that spawn. The first one that spawns is the road to the Black Forest. The second one is Apoc. I'm not sure if they would if they would have me fight the the road, the uh, the path to the Black Forge and Apoc. I can see that being a thing though. I can see that being a thing. Well, either way. Much love. Stay sexy, guys. I'm going to go ahead and edit this down, and uh, I'll go ahead and chill for the rest of the day afterwards. So, uh, bye-bye!